Hello everybody, this is Grazo. Welcome back to Wildlings in a Game of Thrones here in Crusader Kings. Episode 2, we've started off as the Ten Dynasty and we're going to continue to grow here as we prosper north of the Wall. Um, in the first episode we took a little county. I don't think we can actually do some wars. Oh, we can. We can go down here. Um, but today is all about getting prestige and maybe hiring some people in our council. We'll absolutely need them as time goes by, as we get colds, sniffles, flus, all of that sort of stuff. So let's start off with a core physician here. Uh, in fact, I think I might have sent for one just before. Yes, I have. So let's uh, let's unpause. We might get a core physician. Welcome back to the episode. Uh, if you are excited for the Wildlings to take on the Night's Watch, do leave a like below. Uh, that is the goal of this series. We're going to dissolve the Night's Watch. The first goal. Of the series we're gonna resolve the night's watch this guy is uh he's herculean and this lady's disloyal so we're gonna go with this guy yolo <laughs> yolo yolo's quite experienced let's take that guy he is uh one of our best knights currently and we're actually gonna get him married to a wildling in um Let's marry, just get them married there. We want it to go matrilineal. Yep, yeah, all good. So now that we have our core physician, who's actually pretty decent at the job, well, average at the job, is there any other court places that, uh, court uh, roles that we want to fill in? Night effectiveness is good, it's cheap. I'll take that. And we have a prisoner here from the previous war. He's wounded, but maybe, just maybe, maybe we can make him fight again. He's he's 21 per us, so let's take him. Reckless relations. I can tell there's something wrong with my Captain Mole as, uh, <laughs> as soon as we're in bed together. What? Oh, it's my wife too, okay. Um, dare you try to extort me. Tiny health penalty. Let's just do leave it to me. Okay, we're gonna spend a little bit of gold. We will need gold up here uh, in the barren lands. So, looking around us, ooh, that could be. Just looking at the armies that are around us, all of them have about four thousand troops. We we outnumber them almost two to one. And I really want to do a war with this guy and take take his territory, but we gotta get. Um, some sort of uh, prestige buff in order to do that. We're nearly illustrious. We're nearly able to take the duchies, but not just yet. Um, who are you? Garrick. Uh, yeah, I'll pay the ransom for you. That's fine. In fact, we, we're we wildlings. What are we doing here? We could just raid. We can raid for gold. It's hard to find the settlements, but once you find them, there might be gold in there. Look, there's 15 gold. There's nothing else there. So there's at least 15, 15 down here. There's another 15. Yeah, let's do a raiding party. Let's let's raise right on the borders, raise all as raiders, change this to organize our army, and let's go take some money from our neighbors. So Let's send these guys here along with these. And let's see if we can get enough money for a feast. Or uh, some sort of activity that gives us prestige. Okay. I'd ideally, like to. Oh. Greetings, my impressive liege. I've just arrived in Ton. Tunvanic after we're really traveling. Um, important matters regarding this I must discuss with you. Yep, I'll receive him. What does he want to do? Thank you for seeing me. Is one of the marches in the realm and it's your responsibility to defend it as much as me. Ooh, who are you? You're one of my vassals. Your borders are my borders. So he would actually get fortification, counter offer accepted. Okay. 
we have a dangerous faction here as well as well as a, a dynasty legacy perk um i would love to merge these soldiers together but we're not we're going to continue going down here we're going to lose a little bit of soldier count and there's a ransom that we need to pay let's have a look at the dangerous faction lower county control we don't have to worry about that dynasty legacy we want uh as the saying goes to a 10 family go to spoils what would this give us prowess um no I, hmm. warfare warfare is how the wild wings wild wings <laughs> wild wings will uh will flourish only true wielding swords yielding swords whatever you know what i mean So we have three different raiding parties. They haven't sent their armies yet. We could just kind of continue to browse the pale mountains here. We have had another daughter yet, another one. And we are gonna marry for alliance power matrilineally. Drowned forest, there is a good alliance. 2000 extra soldiers, let's take that. Okay, they are sending their soldiers over to me. But they don't have enough to stop us let's continue raiding and there's 15 gold over here too so so far we have i think about 45 gold we just defeated an army and we are paying to get all of our soldiers back from the last uh war it seems uh this is my player Aaron's son who's a little bit of stress What's his learning? I'm gonna increase his learning. I don't need to have a good relationship with him. Not immediately, anyway. We have promoted culture as well, that's nice. So, promote culture in this area too. Let's get all of that carried over to the 10 culture. And I'm gonna take this fight here. There's 2,000 soldiers on our borders up here. Who are they? Southerner with a strange book. He is. Uh, we could we could maybe convert this guy. We could let him in. He is humble, content, and impatient. I don't think he's going to be any trouble. Let's invite this Southerner in. Maybe we'll get some secrets from the south. Uh, Southerner with a strange book. I invite Abu into the hall to break bed with members of my clan. He may be from south of the wall, but we acknowledge his. Uh, but his knowledge of the far north is impressive. He regales me with the facts of the frost fangs and the frozen shore to the Antler River and Shivering Sea. Um, okay. Ooh. That was good. I'm glad I let him in. Look, I get two learning lifestyle perks. And we get uh, development growth. That was huge. So we could take cultural fascination. and hmm. plant cultivation is not really going to be doing much for us because we're not de increasing development uh let's have core physician is better let's do that and we will head home to do a little bit of a peasant uprising after we kick these guys around okay we should be getting prisoners each time we do this yeah we've got five prisoners anybody worth gold no anybody worth recruiting no we're gonna lose a little bit of stress here we're also gonna murder this person all of them are maimed our soldiers are too good at fighting um we will demand There's one gold, yeah, banish that person, just for one. <laughs> and um, we'll just we'll just kill the other person. Spy master. We have a decent one of those. And we should be swaying this person because uh they don't like us currently. And we're just gonna head north. We're gonna head up here, head home. 
Head up this way. Uh, my glory's widely known. Okay, so we are illustrious now. We should be able to do duchy wars. And we're going to increase my son's learning once again. I thought we already had that pop up. Okay, we are losing soldiers. Queen Asha becomes my friend. Yeah, sure. I'll take that. You will find my soldiers a welcome addition to. Who are you? Have you just joined this? Hmm. Fealty, sure. Accept. Did he just join me? What happened there? What happened there? You can hear my dog barking in the background. I think maybe someone's at the door. Okay, we get a uh, guardian for our daughter here. She is gonna do, she's bossy, so we're gonna send her down. Honestly, all of her kids will probably do Marshall. And now let's continue marching north. They are at her capital. I didn't even realize that. Who are these people? Probably all levies, yeah, okay. Peasant uprising. Okay, we'll we'll deal with these guys now. We can call in allies if we wanted to. But I don't think we need to for now. Let's just don't walk past them. Let's just fight them here. Jesus. War declared. Six thousand troops. Never thought that the struggle beyond the wall would be so violent. Jesus. Um, thankfully, we can call in the Drown Forest. And we could call in Flatfang. And the Peasant Uprising will deal with ourselves. We should have the numbers then, right? Yeah, 8,000 versus 6,000. Okay. And what happens if we win this, actually? We should get some gold, right? 94 gold. Nice. Fallen consort. Okay. My son, a rock. Um, send you down in trade. Okay, we have beaten the peasants. And we did bring home the gold. We got a, we we got forty five or so when we were doing that. This guy's a decent marshal, and he he is he is our faith and our culture. So we're just going to recruit this guy. In fact, he's better than my current marshal, so we'll stick him straight in. And who are we fighting against here? Six thousand Blazewood. That's just down here, right? Yeah. Okay. Start to make our way down through the Ten. Ten family, and the, the, the area is called Ten as well. It's going to get very confusing. Uh, what type of soldiers have you got, man? Yeah, he's got decent men at arms. Let's just chill. Wait, let's wait for our allies. <clears throat> this person wants to... Study alchemy. What do you want to make? No, I don't think so. It's way too expensive. Hmm. Um, sure. Let's fight our son here to show him who's boss. There we go. Oh, Jesus, did we kill him? Oh, we killed the son of uh, the chieftain we're fighting against. Right. I thought we killed him, but uh, I'm not sure. It was a strange pop-up. I haven't seen that before. Where's our allies? 
Where are they? New diplomacy lifestyle perk. Monthly prestige per dread. My dread is 50. That's great. Let's take that. Lots of prestige. Uh, we have tons of prestige, actually. And what we could do... Um, we could begin to upgrade some of our units. I mean, we could upgrade most of our units. Why not? Why not go nuts here? Let's, let's get all of our units and uh, let's raise them over here. Get them ready for war. Raise all. Let's get a couple extra men. <clears throat> So alliance expired there. Ten thousand soldiers. Where are my troops? Here they come. Okay. So we want to head head down this way for a fight because they're getting chased. And it'll be about seven thousand soldiers against six thousand. They're gonna get caught here. They're gonna get sandwiched in between a lot of enemies. Okay. So if we decide to come here for now. You're turning back cowards we can we can fight these guys that foolishly just walked into our lands idiots absolute idiots we'll take our time here because we did uh we didn't lose the previous war well we didn't get the outcome outcome we wanted which is kind of the same as losing if you ask me let's go here Keep them off our lands. Keep them away. Here comes more allies. So we're going to march south and cut them off here. Uh, our son, who ended up being a decent fighter, is going to marry for inheritable traits. And there is... Is there any geniuses? No. There's a good inheritable trait that will be born into our family. Got to take that when it comes up. Nice. I mean, we could just take this area here. Let's do that. Or we could come down here to protect our soldiers. We're just about to get their asses kicked. Um, a, a, an artifact, a rough gemstone, prestige, plus one per month. We'll take that. Oh, plus one overall. It's decent. They are turning back around here to fight me. More men at arms counter. I thought we had more soldiers. Let's come up here. Here's our allies now. We need our allies to jump in here. We do need them to jump in. Come on. YOLO. Oh, the guy we paid for. Oh, that's not ideal. We did inherit. We inherited the chiefdom of Blazewood. Okay. Cool. We might give that away, actually. Yeah. Let's grab this away to someone that will fight for us. That is a religion. Like this guy. we go how are we doing in this fight we're gonna win uh, tar yeah increase your prowess by two I like that 50% war score go straight for the capital let's take this do we have any uh, people in our prison here's a powerful vassal wants to be on the council and we do have some people in prison uh, you're terrible. You're not bad. You're a reaver. We will recruit you. If you convert, yep, all good. Welcome to the team. And we will recruit you and also demand your conversion. Just to get our average up for our knights, I think it's around like 12 or 15 currently. Um... that we 
Jesus. This is our new physician. Ooh, this guy's uh, Jamie. Jamie. It's a good, good fighter. Who is this? My player and son. I don't mind if this guy passes away. He's not great. So there will be no treatment. He's a leper. There will be no treatment. Sorry, kid. We need to be seducing her wife. Oh, oh, hang on. Pay ransom. He's just captured my wife. Oh my God, it would be very embarrassing if this was a game over in episode two. 93% war score. Get over here and siege. Boom. Okay. Let's enforce our demands. Disband our armies. And we have protected the lands of the ten. We can ransom uh, this person. Yeah, that's fine. We want to get our wife back. So... Where is she? Um, I'll spend the money and get some spying holes. That will be good. Let's have a look. Too few spouses. Well, let's get one that's actually decent. Look at all these kids that we have. Jesus. Uh, inheritable traits all the way. Okay. Let's get this one. Slippery Mink. We want to get our wife out. Hang on. Hey, Ransom. Expensive. She's wounded and one eyed now. Well, at least she'll live to tell the tale. We need to seduce her almost immediately. all we have is girls right no we have a son okay no we're good we have a son high partition under high partition the lion share of your titles will go to your player error the rest will be divided equally ah okay it's not as bad as i thought it was i thought everybody would have got a little piece uh designated guardian for my son who is ill um he's doing intrigue as well okay Spy master can take care of that. Okay, what do we want to do with this gold? I think we want to upgrade our areas. So, gold and prestige, defender advantage. Let's do that. Um, night effectiveness, taxes. Let's build some markets. Let's do that. And that's it for now. But we can now go to war if we wanted to. And we could take duchies. So we could take all of this. We will wait for... Does he have any alliances? He has a couple of allies. We'll wait a little bit. Uh, this guy's giving me a gift. That's nice. We didn't even need to do our, our activity. We keep on trying to get extra money out of people and it's not working. Um, this guy's a reach man, what's he doing here? Tax relief, what do we care? No. Okay, that worked out really well. We want this guy. Sure. Comes a poet in our court. Cool. Uh, let's let our army replenish. And then we're going to take a big chunk down the south here. want 
take on the Pale Mountains? I think almost immediately. Let's go for it. We want this duchy. And their borders are right beside ours, which is nice. We'll raise in the in the, the basin here. And just Oh, he won't join. I was gonna say just because we can. We're gonna call in our ally, but the they don't they don't they don't want to join. There's a better commander. Let's head over here. I can spend money to get extra diplomacy and prestige. Uh, let's do that because our prestige is leaking right now. And we will we'll need... Well, let's siege their capital first and then we'll go beat them up. Might get a capture, might get an easy, an easy win. Do no more than what is necessary. 84% war score, love that. A valuable prisoner captured. I think I've just captured his son. Maybe his player? Or... Oh, I have. Okay, let's keep him. And you, my lady. You look like a nice wife. Recruit. Demand conversion. And this little kid will just demand conversion. Let him out. My daughter just passed away it's very sad and we've had a son let's call him uh jura cool okay we've had this pop up plenty of times now i think um another son great uh i think we gotta change this manage realm affairs and we want i have no interest in homage that is all. I think people are just petitioning me all the time. Maybe, maybe that was the right thing to do. I'm not sure. Okay, pneumonia is gone. Uh, monthly prestige per captain. I think we'll take that. Need to fix our prestige. Great. So we have won that war. Taking a massive duchy, we're going to disband our armies and zoom out now. Look at the size of the ten. Uh, obviously, we want to we want to unify all this land at some point or another. Are you worth? Oh, worth fifty gold. I will take that. You, you're worth ten. And you're bossy, and we'll just demand your conversion. Let you out. Now, where do we want to give away? Like these places have zero development. Let's grant this to um, let's see, Dynasty, Dynasty of 10, my player error and son, lots of sons, just going to spawn in somebody, let's give him that, spawn in this guy. The doorstep okay and then we do one more traveler's lodge we will do, it, do that one more time i don't want to land my sons just yet but every time we spawn in a new character there's a chance that they will be converting the faith and this will take three years so let's do that and we can usurp the chieftain of the high mountains. Of the pale mountains, should I say. The duchy title. Stone maiden can be reinstated. Let's do that. Probably need to get that person to fight, right? Force everybody that's able to wield a sword to fight. Uh, 
60 in prowess is what we're looking for. Okay, where's that? We have lots of great fighters, which is nice. There we go. And our army is 9,000 men. Strong. Do we want to take another duchy? Do we want to take another duchy? Declare war. Conquer duchy. Uh, declare war. I don't have a, don't have a cast spell here. What are the jagged hills? Declare war. Conquer duchy. Military strength is inferior to ours. Or we could take the top. Um, we could also take bleak water. Take all of this. Nine thousand troops. Hmm. I think I'm inclined to take maybe old groves. Kind of want to. The void the wildlings from left to right, right, and kind of extend our borders down towards the wall. Uh, but this seems like the easiest one to take. How about Flatfang? Take Flatfang. Let's take Flatfang. I know it's not connected to us but it is a huge piece of land in the west and eventually we're going to need it so let's let us raise our troops and let's do that war thing that we were doing obviously the quicker we unify the wildlings the more powerful and more more time we have to prepare the scheme against the uh the knight's watch and eventually the north men and any men that stand up against us and our true conquest of Westeros. Putting a 10 on the, the Iron Throne will be a game changer. So we're going to conquer Flatfang. And I think then we'll, that's where we'll wrap up this episode. Unless we get any interest in prisoners. Oh, we have our, our men here arriving with the siege equipment. Three months left. Surely that quicker than three months. Um, yeah, crime cannot go unpunished. Wife pregnant one more time. Okay, we're gonna just walk across to each little holding here and take what is rightfully ours. get some prisoners you're worth 10 gold I'll take it next up is her capital easy 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 expansion we just gotta wait and be careful for uh... Ooh, okay kill the beast myself Fifty-seven percent chance I die. Ah, uh, no, we have to flee here. Sorry, we had to take. We had to be a little bit of a coward. We're too busy trying to unify the lands here. Everybody's getting pregnant. Okay. Just about to win this war. Ninety-two percent victory. We also got an artifact there, which is nice. What do we get? An animal figurine. Stress gain, hostile scheme resistance. Break that. It's worth 80 gold. And we will continue upgrading what we own. Uh, this time we will take control growth and prestige. And this time around we'll take... Uh, hmm control growth and prestige again and that's it for now 
Control growth is needed as we rapidly expand and we're going to get rated contract assistance. We could be very useful. I'm going to decline this. I don't need this guy's troops. That's interesting though. The guy's trying to help me out in the fight. Uh, no, decline. Everybody wants to jump in at the end when I'm just about to win. 92% war score. Get over here for fight. Prisoner taken in siege. Take back the capital. That should do it. Cradle by death. Okay, my wife or my son is just about to die. Decline. Had a son. Okay. Boom. Let's uh, enforce our demands real quick. Expand our armies. And the 10 has now expanded rapidly. We're going to give away that land. Two. We'll probably just spawn in a new character. I mean, you, you can hold a couple of options, so let's give him everything, I suppose. You can hopefully begin to spread the faith around our new lands. And um, prisoners can be ransomed. Designate a guardian for me. Uh, daughter here. Intrigue, right? There we go. A little bit of intrigue the wife will take care of that and we want to have a look at our prisoners anybody worth cash cash 10 we'll take it 50 we'll take that as well and you are you're ill folks i'm gonna i'm gonna have to run the dog is barking someone's at the door thanks so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed the episode i'll see you in the next one take care and as always enjoy the rest of your day bye bye